Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews and today I've got another episode of What's Poppin'. And <clears throat> what's poppin' is I finally found this. Found it at my 99 cent store and it, as you guessed it the bottle was 99 cents. Been looking for it for a little a couple different places. The reason I'm got my patriotic gear on because it's also the uh, 4th of July is going to be coming up and I thought I'd be patriotic especially since this is patriotic drink and this is by Mountain Dew and it is called <laughs> Mountain Dew Liberty Brew red white and blue for you so Mountain Dew Liberty Brew it says it's 50 flavors in one I don't know how the heck they're gonna get 50 flavors in there but I don't know and 280 calories per bottle <laughs> a lot of sugar and if I drink this whole thing I'm gonna be bouncing off the walls I'll tell you <clears throat> shooting fireworks off and jumping around and I have a frosted glass here and it is blue <laughs> so I don't know what to expect the flavor limited edition DoUnited.com. You can go there and check it out. There we go. Give it a try. And uh, I actually bought an extra bottle just in case I liked it. And I don't know, in case something went wrong and blew it up or whatever. I had to redo the review. Who knows? But anyways, here we go. ASMR time for you guys. And... That was kind of weak. Ooh, I can already smell the blue. This sounds, this smells familiar. Like, um, this reminds me of Pepsi Blue from way back in the day when they used to have blue Pepsi. Yeah, yeah, that's really that's what it tastes like. So here we go. Liberty Brew Mountain Dew. And wow. All right. <laughs> okay, that's funky. That's funky, guys. Oh, boy. All right. <clears throat> Liberty Dew Mountain. Liberty Brew Mountain Dew. You can see it's nice and frosted. That chills it down really quick and when you put it in the glass, it doesn't pick up the taste from the plastic. It doesn't take up, pick up taste from uh, a can. So hopefully, you know, with the chilled, I put some ice in there. It's fairly carbonated. Hmm, actually it does smell pretty good. I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe if I like it, I'll go back and get several bottles and then I'll put it in the refrigerator for about a year or two. And I'll try it later after it's some after it's uh, aged like a fine wine. <laughs> Reminds me of Romulan Ale from Star Trek. <laughs> it's blue. <laughs> Scotty, I don't know what it is, but it's blue. <laughs> Romulan Ale. So here we go. A Mountain Dew Liberty Brew. And you guys know I don't like blue, by the way. So uh, I'm trying it for you. Trying Liberty Brew for you. So here we go. Hmm. Ooh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's like. Oh man, that's like very complex. It's like all kinds of different flavors I'm tasting in there. I'm tasting like a blue. Tasting like the white out. I'm tasting like the code red. Mm. Live wire. Voltage. It's like they mix matched all of them together. They smished them all together and put them in the one thing. It's supposed to be 50 flavors. I don't know if I'm going to be able to differentiate 50 different distinct flavors. I remember a couple years ago, they put out the Mountain Dew Red, White, and Blue, and it was a, a combination of Whiteout, um, 
Voltage, and I think another one, I don't remember what Mountain Dew, it was red, white, and blue, and it, it kind of came out like pinkish purpley, and it was a combination of three of them. And I had a case of that, and I, I actually kind of liked it, but then they didn't put it out, so it was like a collector's edition, limited edition thing. That's kind of what this reminds me of, but this is like a lot more complex. It's many different flavors and it kind of melds and changes as you drink it. Mm. Yeah, man, it's like if you would put everything all together in one. <laughs> so for that one, wow. Ah, that's a tough one. Wow. I mean, I like Mountain Dew. It's got a lot of big kick to it. So, hmm. It's a Mountain Dew Liberty Brew. It's actually pretty good. Surprisingly enough. I don't know. But anyway, on this one, ah, really tough. I'll have to just... I'm just going to say that it's, uh, this is a 10 out of 11 because it's, it's not overly sweet. It's a pretty good mix of all different flavors and you can't really pin it down to one particular flavor that's dominant over the other. They all kind of meld and mix together. It is kind of good and refreshing. It's not overly sweet. The plain Mountain Dew to me is is a little too sweet for me. It's too sugary, and I've tried the other ones: the Live Wire, the Voltage, the Pitch Black, the White Out, all the Merry Mashups, and all that. Yeah, I think they just like dumped every flavor they've ever made into this one. But it is a good mix if you can find it um, in your store. Give it a try. I'd suggest gas stations. I would say try it at a 99 cent store, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, um, whatever's near you. Sometimes you can find them, you know, at a liquor store or a gas station. Something that stocks like kind of unusual items or a smaller store, not like a chain store. Like Walmart probably won't get this or um, Target may not get it. Now, I don't know if it's in the... Um, it's also, supposedly it's in cans as well, and I think they might even have it in a two liter bottle, but this was the first one that I found in the 20 ounce, so I'll keep my eye out and see if I could find it in the cans, and then maybe I'll stock up on the cans, I don't know. But this was pretty good, so if you've got one near you, give it a try, see if you like it. You know, if you're a Mountain Dew fan, you could probably even mix it with something else, but it's already mixed up enough, so I think it stands well on its own. So give it a try if you want a little unique experience. And also, you know, feel free to go back and um, watch some of my previous videos. I did a couple other videos with uh, Mountain Dew. I think Mountain Dew Ice, Mountain Dew Ice Cherry, Merry Mashup. I've done several Mountain Dew flavors and other sodas. So you can check those out whenever you want. Yeah, lots of other videos out there. So you can take a look at those if you want to. Uh, to go look at some of my past ones. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell over there. That way you won't miss any future content or when I go live and you won't miss out on any of the fun. So, till next time on Drew's Food Reviews when I'll be trying something red, white, and blue for you. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this off and because it is pretty good and hopefully I won't be bouncing off the walls all night, you know, with all this sugar. And I think it actually, this does, I believe, have caffeine in it as well. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, caffeine, all that. Ooh. Caffeine sugar is going to make me bounce off the walls today. So, anyways, that's my take on this one. So, until next time, I'll talk to you later. Cut. Take wow, two. Man. It's like, uh, wow. It's like if you would put...